Hey guys, Murray Coyote here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Cobra Jet Manifold. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and print off the installation instructions. Start by taking off your cold air intake. Now if you're wanting me to walk you step by step of how to do that, this installation is not for you. Put up your tools and have somebody else do this. Once you've got the cold air intake off of your car, go ahead and disconnect the fuel rail. Once you've got the fuel rail disconnected, go ahead and start unplugging all of the lines that attach to your throttle body. Now unplug all eight fuel injectors. Once you've done that, you're ready to disconnect the four fuel rail bolts and the six intake bolts. Once you've taken those out, go ahead and lift the intake out of the car and set it aside. Take this opportunity to clean out your valley cover and make sure that your heads are nice and clean for the new intake to set on. Now remove the old fuel rail from your intake manifold. Once you have it removed, go ahead and set it on your new intake. I was changing over to different injectors, so I was removing the stock ones to get ready to place in the new ones. I also had to use the VMP adapters to make an MU-52 injector fit on the stock Coyote fuel rails. I applied a small bit of lubrication to the O-rings on the fuel injectors to help them not fold as I was pressing them into the intake manifold. Now you're ready to set the intake manifold back on your car. Do this slowly. There's probably going to be a couple things your intake's going to catch on. You'll figure it out. Just push it out of the way. Eventually it'll fall down on the heads. Now you're ready to tighten the six intake manifold bolts in the sequence shown in the instructions. Now if you want to tighten these to spec, it is 89 inch pounds. Once you've got those six tightened, now go on to the four fuel rail bolts and then also your instructions show you which ones to tighten first. And again, these are also 89 inch pounds. Now plug your fuel injectors back in and start reconnecting all of your hoses back to the intake and the throttle body. It's not rocket science, you'll figure it out. Reconnect your fuel rail, make sure that all lines are plugged in. Now this is the part where your instructions are going to want you to repin the factory harness. Personally, didn't want to mess with it, VMP makes an adapter that's plug and play, you don't have to jack with your harness, and I'm guaranteeing you it'll save you a lot of time if you just go ahead and get that harness. Now once you've got your throttle body all plugged in and all the hoses connected to your manifold, you're pretty much done. You just put on your cold air intake. Again, if you need me to tell you how to do that, this is not the installation for you. Go ahead and have somebody else do it. Don't jack up your car. And that's pretty much it. If you've worked on cars before, this should be no big deal to you. It's just a couple bolts and a couple lines. Nothing super difficult. If you haven't really worked on cars before, this is probably not the installation for you. There's no shame in having somebody else do it. You are messing with your fuel lines. Don't be stupid. Don't light your car on fire. Go ahead, have somebody else install it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope somebody finds it helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.